This is Nero. Nero's a two-year-old standard poodle. And, and uh, you can see he's got a lot of junk in his eye. Um, that's an eye booger. Um, he really had two big old eye boogers yesterday. And, um, and again this morning. And again this morning. And when I pinched his skin, it was just, just stood up like that. It was very dehydrated. Um, he's lost some weight. Um, doesn't have a lot of mu as much muscle as he should. And when he came in, he was just weak. He just couldn't, you can't really see it now, but he was just very weak and couldn't really, he was wobbling around, didn't want to walk, and when he walked, uh, he, he really um, w got weak in a hurry. Um, so what we did is we drew blood, and uh, I'll show you the blood real quick. Stay there, Neil, stay there. Um, his, um, he was very dehydrated. The, his hematocrit uh, was 60, and it should be only up to 55. And uh, you can see the red here is very dehydrated, and his BUN was very, very high. It was up in the 100 area. Um, and his potassium was very high. All those things uh, point out to Addison's disease. So um, what we did is knowing that he needed to uh, be rehydrated for his kidney problems, um, we put a catheter in and we gave him a large amount of fluid. Um, and his kidney enzyme, I'll show you, went way down and his potassium went day, way down and we did a test for Addison's disease. He is positive for Addison's disease through the ACTH response test. Uh, what it does is the adrenal gland by the kidney uh, is in charge of making cortisone. When it doesn't make enough cortisone and another, uh, and another um, hormone that controls the chemicals, or the, the, the electrolytes, I mean, they can get out of whack, like you saw with this potassium. And it's a critical disease, very common in standard poodles. So if usually it's in female dogs. Um, West Highland Terriers are common, and uh, Border Collies, I've seen it in Border Collies. But any dog that wakes up solely from anesthesia or is weak, or has vomiting or bloody diarrhea in his week is a candidate for Addison's disease. So when we when we uh, did the uh, gave him the fluids, I'll show you. And pardon my uh, veterinary attire. I was working out this morning, and I'm off today. Sometimes we have to check animals. That's what being a veterinarian is about. I checked them last night and this morning. Uh, you can see uh, after the fluids. His, his, his hydration's better. Hematocrit's a measure of hydration, and that's better. And his kidney, remember that kidney, you don't remember, but uh, it was 100, and now it's uh, 20 for the kidney enzyme, and it's much better. So his uh, values went back down. His potassium's still a little high, but that's because he doesn't have that uh, part of his adrenal gland that's helping him control it. So what we did is we actually did a test uh, called an ACTH response, and we, we took a cortisol level before uh, in the blood, we drew blood and tested it, it was 0.2, and then we give an injection of uh, this ACTH gel, and, um, and afterwards it was still 0.2, so we know that he's not, his, his adrenal gland is not responding at all to the challenge of the gel, which means he has the Addison's disease. So what does that mean? Um, that means that for the rest of his life, he'll have to get an injection of percortin, which we gave him yesterday. So this injection of percortin has to be given uh, once every 25 days for the rest of his life. And the problem is it's a little expensive, but it's one of the, it's the only thing you can use to keep him alive. So Nero, you lucked out, buddy. You're eating, you're drinking, you're pooping, and his hair wasn't tied up like that. Robin tied it up like that because before he kind of looked like Don King. Well, he's an old fight promoter that had wild hair. Now he's just got a little bit of wild hair, dude. I think it looks much better. 
Well, I just wanted to talk a little bit about more about make sure you got the point of the story. Right there on the screen is Nero, a standard poodle. They're prone to this, so are bearded collies, West Highland Terriers, and other dogs. Usually the dogs are female. Sometimes, most of the time, they're around middle age. So if your dog's acting real weak, has vomiting and diarrhea, and just uh, more than just a little vomit, a dog can vomit every now and then or have a little case of diarrhea and look pretty happy and healthy. But this is where they look weak, they might stagger. That's a good time to get them into the vet. That means the adrenal glands, like I said, right there on the right there in front of you, you can see the kidneys. The kidneys are those bean-shaped things and the adrenal glands are to the inside and up above them. Um, they're the ones that are in charge of producing cortisone, which the body needs. And also they produce these hormones that in charge of making sure the potassium is in the right amount in the body. So if it's not, uh, it can be deadly to the heart and to the muscles and uh, to the general well-being of the dog. They don't, it's usually, this is a genetic disease and it's prone in, like I said, standard poodles, West Highland Terriers and others. Um, so just wanted you to be aware of it um, in case your dog's weak and staggering and one of those breeds, you can look on the internet and look up Addison's disease and see if they're one prone to that. Then they can do the blood tests. Uh, the kidney enzyme, the BUN, was up in Nero. That was the one that was 100. And then the, with all the fluid therapy, it rehydrated everything. And the BUN went back down to 30. The potassium dropped a little bit. And with then uh, the cortisone, uh, I gave him an injection of cortisone. I don't know if I mentioned that. Along with all the fluids, that's immediate because that's part of the adrenal gland's job that it's not doing. And then after it was diagnosed the next day, um, after I did the ACTH response test, which is where you take blood, you measure the cortisone, you inject the ACTH gel, and then you take a reading two hours later, then it showed that the adrenal gland still wasn't producing any uh, cortisone so that may cortisone and what that means is it's also not producing the mineralocorticoid to regulate the potassium levels and that makes everybody puts the whole body in a bad mood anyway we'll check out my dog dish diet um, wet.com I have some recipes that you can use to feed your dogs and your cats feed your pet to avoid the vet and also dogdishdiet.com talks a lot about itchy dogs and allergies and also some nutrition t tips for your cat. Well, have a great day.